Hello everyone, this is Craig Chamberlain with the PCM Tech Help Show, and in today's unboxing video, we're going to talk about a OEM DVD-ROM drive. This particular drive is the uh, 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 ASUS model DRW-24B1ST, uh, and this particular unit is available for like $20 on Newegg, and it's 4.5 out of 5 eggs, which I can deal with. I can deal with that. $20? Psh, amount of money you can get these things for? I remember... I remember back in the day when I wanted to order a DVD burner, $200, $200, it was a 4X, and you liked it. <laughs> so anyways, let's go ahead and get this sucker uh, opened up. This is this is it. This is it right here. This is all it is. It's, it's just a, uh, it's a bubble-wrapped OEM drive. It comes with no cables, no accessories, none of the other bells and whistles. But the beautiful thing about ordering an OEM drive is if you're building a computer, all those cables, the communications cable, which is a serial ATA cable, comes with the motherboard, typically, and the power connector is going to be included on the power supply. So you're pretty much covered on cables. All you need is a drive that'll fit in there. Also, thankfully, most drives are standard and they fit in just about every case, so let's open this sucker up. Got your razor blade, be safe. Actually, that made me think of Dora. So we can be safe. Don't cut with your don't cut your thumb open. Make sure you're safe. And also make sure you don't accidentally cut the product, which would be quite embarrassing to do. Or your hand open on video, which by the way, if I ever did that, I would still publish the video because it would be funny that way. Okay, so we got it out. We got this awesome ASUS packaging. ASUS, ASUS, who's gonna yell at me for that one today? I get yelled at all the time for doing that. And uh, so we go. Oh yeah, and here it is. It's a good-looking drive. Um, now the official. Let's see if there's any official. The official model number. I was correct. Is a DRW 21 24B1ST. I don't know about you guys, but uh, us IT guys, we thrive on model numbers. So make a mental note or write down if you're building a computer or buying hardware. Make sure you have those model numbers on hand. This is your gateway to looking up manuals and installation guides and things like that online. So that is pretty much a must-have opportunity. Now it doesn't say anywhere on here what the write speeds are, but I'm going to give you a perfect example of why I like to look this stuff up because it doesn't say it on my sheet here either. Let's type it into Google. Let's find out what's our write speed. So we type in DRW dash 24B1ST. And I'll pull it up. Asus, 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 their, <laughs> their primary website comes right up. Actually, I was wrong. It's a five out of five star rating on Newegg. I thought it was four and a half. That's pretty surprising. It is a 24X DVD plus R, 8X DVD plus RW drive. And it also allows you to burn CDs as well. And it is approximately $20 as of the making of this video. So of course you have your standard buttons not that fancy or button you press that it opens you press it again it closes here on the back you got a couple options you have your serial data power the serial ATA power I'm sorry that'll come from your power supply and go into that connector and then you have your data so you don't really have a couple options you have two options this will go to your motherboard so when you're hook, when you're connecting your computer or installing your computer installing it in your computer you will use your serial ATA connector communications cable plug it in there plug it in your motherboard and then take the one from your power supply and plug it in there. So that's all there is to this video. This is the ASUS uh, DVD-ROM drive. It is also uh, one I've bought many, many times. I've had very, very good luck with. Uh, the thing about these drives is they just die, man. Not these ones, but just if you buy cheap ones, ones that don't have good reviews, they die. They just randomly, they'll stop opening. The little motor in them will die out, and it becomes really a nuisance. Have you ever had to work with a CD-ROM drive that doesn't open? It's... It's, an, it's annoying. It's a nightmare. So that's all there is to this video. As always, thanks for stopping by. Uh, don't forget to swing by PCMTechHelp.com. I have tons of videos, like 80 free downloads. You can get all kinds of stuff there. I'm on every social network you can imagine, so whatever your favorite one is. If you go to PCMTechHelp.com, in the sidebar, you'll be able to pretty much follow me on any of those networks. you got Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and all them wonderful places. And uh, I offer free support, so if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or contact me through one of them social networks. I'll be more than happy to help you out. So stay tuned. I'm going to have a couple more videos, maybe like 400 more 
I love this stuff too much. I just can't, I can't stop. I can't stop. I can't stop. So thanks again. Have a good day.